I'd experimented with meditation quite a bit before I, I learned TM and I started to use apps, you know, things like Headspace. And I felt like the idea of more presence, you know, in everyday life, at that point in everyday life later on for my work, but um, felt really appealing, something I wanted to access and something I didn't always feel I had access to. So I started using those apps a little bit. Okay. Nothing really stuck, I think. I was getting, I just, I found it hard to establish a pattern, I suppose, get into a rhythm with it. What I found with the apps is they're, they're so much designed to give you like an instant release, an instant gratification of, I remember they even have like the sleep one or the, do you know what I mean? And I understand the market for that. And that's appealing. Of course, instant relief from any negative emotion is, that's a lovely idea. <laughs> the, what I'd experienced with Vipassana was that maybe I wasn't going to do something and then be cured of any, you know, things I had going on internally. I think that's, that, that's not what I'm looking for really anymore. And it wasn't what I was looking for with TM. I was just looking to, I, I went in really open in terms of what it might give me. It's funny you say, you know, a lot of people come to meditation or, or TM specifically as like, a, you know, for stress busting. I did, in fact, notice a reduction maybe in my levels of stress, even though that wasn't really what I went in for. But the the job I do is so much of an emotional roller coaster. It can be hard to regulate your emotions, I suppose. In the immediate aftermath, just helped me. It, it, felt, it felt like the peak, peaks and troughs were maybe more even mm -hmm. and not in a kind of dulling way. I just felt I had maybe a little more perspective or a little more control of my emotional state in a really useful way.